Hey there, Pepper people. We are back in my garage. You know, anyone who watches this channel knows that anytime we come into the garage, it's gonna be an extra special time. Here we have the remnants of the last video I did in my garage. Now today, I'm actually gonna show you a few features of the Fisher & Paykel Solo Mask. Now this thing is not out yet. Oh, Jocelyn, oh, when is it out? Oh God. It's just not out yet. Oh, Jocelyn, is it the 22nd of April? It's, <laughs> no, no. Oh, uh, Jocelyn, is it the 1st of May? No, I, I don't, we don't know when it's coming out, okay? We don't know. Oh, do you think it's like gonna be maybe the uh, third quarter of the, of the year? I don't know, it's, it's not out yet. Uh, what I do know is I've been sampling this for about the last week and I still have about another week to go before I come out with my review. But first, I wanna share some things with you. Now we have so much technology here that I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to balance that out with some nature and we have the Persian cucumbers in here with, of course, with Lego man. Oh, it's awesome. So the first thing I wanna show you, not really a technological marvel, but we have the Fisher and Paykel Evora nasal mask. Now what I wanted to show is these cushions, we have the Solo here that pops off super easy. We have the Evora here that oh, popped off earlier when I was practicing, a little more difficult. Now both of these are mediums. You can see from the side here, they're both mediums. But what I want you to take a look at is two things. So this one's the Solo, this one's the Evora. They're very different in the attachments. But as far as the actual cushion itself, these are both mediums. They are the exact same size. They're exact same shape. They have more or less the exact same ribbing with one exception. And it appears that the medium for the Solo is ever so slightly longer if you're considering these kind of wings that are coming off. Now, it doesn't really come into play, so if you happen to be a, a fan of the Evora, I think you're really gonna like the Solo. My neighbor literally never comes outside and while I'm filming this, he's moving his garbage cans around. What the heck? Now let's get into the actual technology part of this. And again, we have the, we have the Persian cucumbers for your comfort and to balance out nature versus tech. So. This is a part that's amazing. There's no Velcro, no Velcro at all. I think every other mask I've ever seen with the exception of the bleep dream ports and, and bleep eclipse have some kind of a Velcro on them. Every mask I can think of. Look at this, how it stretches. Listen to the sound. The feel of this is crazy. So if I pull it out, like I'm putting it on my head, it, it, it goes easy. There's a little tension, but it goes fairly easy. And then it, provides a lot more tension to ratchet it in. So what this does when you put it on, it gives you a nice firm pull into your face. And if it's not enough, if say like your face, it stops here and you want a little tighter, you just take it and kind of force it in a little more and it's gonna ratchet down and hold those. How does it do that? I don't wanna disassemble this. You can do that easily on this other side here. If I, if I pop out this, you have these little, uh, little grooves in here. You can stick something in there uh, that will release and then you can pull this off and take a look. I barely did it and, and I put it back because I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna mess this up. <coughs> Reminder. But what's in here I can actually show you because they have it on some of their printed materials. You can even compare the mask right in this area, right behind it, you have these strips here of material. I believe he said they were graphite. Honestly, to me, they look like they're little wires. When the mask is retracting, it's like this. These clasps are basically smooth. It allows it to glide in. But if you're trying to pull it out, it kind of locks up like this. It gets a little bit of locking mechanism. So almost like a Chinese finger trap. And you know the product rep for it, he actually said, hey, this is a lot like a seat belt. Oh, uh, excuse me, Jocelyn, uh, are you gonna go into the car again? Lego man, I really don't think we should. Last time he went into the car, someone got on us for being rude to the viewers by going into the car and not having a proper studio. So guess what? Grab your best boy, grab the key grip. We're taking the boom mics and going on an adventure. So here's kind of what the solo headgear is like. You can pull it out and then when you release it starts to retract, but if it tries to go out at all more, it kind of locks into place. Now it doesn't lock like that, but you can definitely feel the tension is there and it's not gonna pull too tight. And if you needed to, you can pull it out a little bit more, but if you wanna snug it up, you can definitely snug it up a little more. And it has, has this kind of tension to it. You go too fast, it does not have that. So in that way, it's not really like a seatbelt, but that's the analogy that the product rep used. And I think it's actually a pretty apt description. All right, one last thing I wanted to share with you guys. Oh, excuse me, Jocelyn. That was a very good review. 
Oh, no, 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 this isn't a review. We're just going over features. Well, it kind of seemed like a review, Jason. It's not a review. Well, then why are you showing the math, Jason? Okay. You've said one thing too many, Lego man. I've always loved you, Jason. Lego man? And the last thing I want to say is that this cushion, there's actually another version coming out. Now it's not out yet, but there's actually a nasal pillow, like a prong, very much like the Bravita. I am super excited to try that version. So if you've ever seen the Bravita, Bravita is one of my top two favorite masks, probably my second favorite. And it's gonna couple this headgear with like a Bravita style cushion. That's gonna be awesome. If you're excited about this mask whatsoever, you can go over to cpapsupplies.com. Go to the product page for the Fisher & Paykel Solo Mask. If you put your email address in the pop-up, you will get a notification when the Solo is available for order. And again, that should be sometime. That should be sometime. But while you're waiting for it, make sure you buy something snazzy like a VCOM or a Hurricane Dryer. You can always use discount code LEFTY20 or 20LEFTY or LANKY20 or lanky left 20 Use that discount code, get 20% off. You also very often get an extra 100 loyalty reward points. So 20% off plus an extra $5 off. That is a tough deal to beat. So check out the sponsor of this video, cpapsupplies.com. I already have some thoughts on the Fisher & Paykel Solo, but if you have some experience with it, if you've used it, I would love it if you'd let me know in the comment section some of the problems that you're having or some of the successes that you're experiencing with the Solo. I am but one nose. I really, really want to have some of your input in my review of the solo. All right, guys, with that, thank you so much for watching. If you want a pap therapy analysis with me, check out axgsleepdiagnostics.com. I want to thank all the Patreon and YouTube members. And if you like this kind of content, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Good night. Clean your stinky mask with some mask right available at Amazon. Thank you to all watching, but an extra thick, <laughs> thanks, butter, to Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Patricia Espolong, Sarvesh Joshi, Stuart Hetherington, Mona Swearingen, Chung Tu Chen, Edward Steiner, Erin Stevenson, Deborah Permute, and Shannon Kerr, and another slightly less thick thanks, buddy, to all the other YouTube members, Patreon supporters, and other stuff.